Hey guys, this is John. Ironically, I just played this guy in the three minute pool and now we got a game in the five minute pool. He just switched pools with me. Wow, his rating is really high. This is another guy who has a ridiculous rating in the five minute pool. What is going on? I guess we'll find out. That's a, that's a really high rating. 2662, my gosh. Okay, I'll just go knight c3. So this is like the reverse dragon. I'm going to play rook b1. This is a dynamic move. Idea is to go b4. So he prevents that. Uh, do I play... I forgot what I play here. I think I can actually play d4 in this position. Is that insane? Or is that okay? I can't remember. I just can't remember. d4, pawn takes, knight b5 is the idea. I want to say it's okay for me to do that, <laughs> but I really don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. So remembering la our last game, I want to stay up on time against this dude, because he seems pretty fast. Let's go bishop f4. Oh, bishop f4, he can take on d5, or he can play knight d5, I mean. Yeah, let's just get this back then. He should probably take. I'm sure he'll take. Do I want to take with a queen or with a knight? Probably knight, huh? He can play c6, like blunt my bishop. Maybe e4 now? Yeah, seems okay. Start putting our majority to use. Hmm. Where are you going with that knight? Are you going to c5? Probably. Okay, I'll just put this here. Maybe he'll go to e5 and try to go into either g4 or c4. Okay, let's do this. It's a pretty massive rating. <laughs> I'm just marveling at that 2662 rating. Like, where'd this guy come from? All right, rook fd1. Look good? Everyone in agreement? Yes, John. All right, so now maybe um, b4. He takes on passant. I take with my pawn. Queen b4. Other moves like our knight, knight f5 here, maybe? B4 just feels like the right move. Let's do it. It just looks like the correct idea. Queen B4 is a little annoying though. He runs away. All right, well, let's go here. I like my knight. I like it. Queen B2, what's up with Queen B2? You gotta be really careful after Queen B2. Uh, maybe not, because he has bishop c3. How about h4? h4 is probably good. That just looked like a fun move. <laughs> like maybe introduce h5 ideas against his king. I don't think he wants to play g6. g6 is risky. He has trouble unwinding in this position. Plays rook e8, okay. I really want to go queen b2, but bishop c3. So I can't do that. h5. Hmm. Hmm. Just do this. I'm just trying to keep an eye on his bishop. Oh, that's the idea. Bishop back to f8. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really see that. I was not anticipating that. Let's keep pushing. I have a mini and a minority attack going. I do like where this is heading. 
Uh, Ooh, I'm like almost trapping his queen. B6, queen B8. Or, eh, his queen E5. Check. All right, let's just do this. Time, time, time. All right, I'm going to go b6 now. Try to force his queen all the way back. He's got some trouble on this square. So now, I mean, if I can get my rook into d6 or bishop h3, just be threatening to take and destroy that. I think I'm going to go rook d6 if I get a chance, because then I can double up my rooks, potentially. Yeah, let's do this. This is looking fun. So I'm so close to just winning this, right? Here, what are you gonna do? Oh, duh! You can just do that. What was I thinking? Okay. Stupid, dumb, dumb, dumb. All right, still a good position. Still has to be like almost winning. Queen f6. Jeez, he's like almost paralyzed. Yeah, now I can just go. I can almost just go. Okay, I'm gonna play rook e1. Yeah, and here I have this. He's gotta take my queen. Oh, wait, no, don't do that. I have mate if he does that. Rook takes e8. <laughs> oh, he disconnected. Okay, so I won. I went up to 2510. It didn't execute the attack perfectly, but it worked out. Shall we go back? So this is a reverse dragon. White can play either knight c3 or knight f3 in this position. I just chose knight f3 just because I usually play knight c3. But um, if e4 looked tempting to you, Slap your fels your <laughs> slap yourself. Ugh, I can't talk. Slap yourself in the face one time. That's how you'll remember this. So e4 is a bad move in these positions because of queen a4 check. Check. With a fork on these two. This happens in the Sicilian as well. Okay, so pawn coming to the fourth rank or fifth rank early on in these Sicilian type positions, whether conventional Sicilian or reverse Sicilian as we have here. Be skeptical of that. Got to look at queen a4. So that's the tactical justification. So knight c6, knight c3. Yeah, white can play, you know, d3 is very standard here. Um, rook b1 is kind of an accelerated idea. So if he, let's say he castles in this position, the plan is b4. And I'm trying to divert one of his pieces from the defense of e5. Well, mainly his knight I'm trying to divert. So like if bishop takes b4, then knight takes. I think works out well for white. This knight's overloaded. If he takes, I take here. And white's not winning or anything, but I have the bishop pair and two center pawns to his none. I think it's really nice for me. But he played, what did he do? He played a5. And I wasn't sure about this, but I spent about 30 seconds pondering it, so I just went for it, d4. And he just gave the pawn back. I think a critical move might be bishop f5 to attack my rook on b1. I was planning on responding with bishop f4, attacking this, counterattacking. And then if, let's say, I don't know, rook c8, I can go rook c1. And I think I'll be able to recover this pawn, hopefully with an advantage. But I must confess, like, I don't, I don't know for certain if this is a line. I kind of think it's a line, this d4 move on move nine, but I'm not positive. Got to check the database. But at any rate, he just castled, and I recovered the pawn. I didn't think he had too many problems, though. This was a weird maneuver, knight d7. Although, I suppose it's a little tricky to get his dark square or his light square bishop developed. What I thought he should do here is play bishop f6, attacking my knight. Because if I play bishop e3, he has knight c4, is the problem for me, attacking this bishop. So... 
I need I need b3 to have been played, so I could put the bishop on e3. So I'm I'm fairly certain if I turn on the engine, it's gonna say bishop f6 is the best move. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of changing its mind. Knight c4, bishop f6. But to me, bishop f6 looks straightforward. Yeah, it's suggesting I just move my knight back. But in that case, his bishop can develop freely to e6. There's no fear of me taking it and messing up his pawns. So yeah, knight d7, that uh, was an error. So I just developed. Oh, did I miss some tactics? Looks like I did. Okay, knight takes c6, would have won me a pawn at this stage. He takes back, I take here. Yep, didn't see that. I knew this knight would be weak, but I was more so focused on x-raying his queen with my rook. And the reason why I'm using this f-rook instead of the b-rook is that I think with this half-open c-file and also me being behind this b-pawn, my queenside rook should definitely stay on the queenside, right? Like if you play rook bd1 here, white would essentially be saying that he thinks this rook is better on the f-file or the e-file, which to me looks questionable here. I mean, I am behind my e and f pawns, but a lot of the action is taking place on the queen side. I think it's better to deploy those rooks like I did in the game. And I went ahead and played b4. Guess that move maybe was not the best. I thought he was going to play queen b4 in this position to try to stall my attempts to play b4 myself. He just did knight back. h4, I just played that on general grounds. Maybe I can tuck my king on h2, and it also might function as an attacking mechanism, h5, h6. So I'm happy with that move. Um, I didn't see the point of rook e8. I didn't connect that to him wanting to drop his bishop back to f8. Fortunately, I had put my queen on c4, so b4 was looking nice now. And I initiated this little mini minority attack. Hmm. It says I should just take straight away here. I assume if this bad stuff happens, oh yeah, take here. Attacking his rook, threatening the queen. I can even give up my queen. So I guess he'd be forced to recapture. But if he does that, bishop b6 is trouble. Huh. Check. I just did this. Because now I kind of sense that he's going to have problems with his dark squares for the rest of the game. Kind of like in the last one. You see how many pieces he has on light squares? Everything except his queen. So that means his other color complex is, is weak. And I just traded its best defender, the dark square bishop. I'm pretty certain I missed some easier wins around here. This position just looks so good. Basically, all I got to do is get rid of this knight, and <laughs> boom. Okay, it's not that easy, but <laughs> rook d6, okay, it likes this. I totally flubbed this next move. I played queen d2. For some reason, I thought I was attacking this more times than I actually was. I thought the bishop was pinned. I was like, oh, if he moves bishop c8, I can just win. But, uh, of course, that's not the case. He has it defended three times. And I'm attacking it three times. So... What should I have done here instead? Bishop h3. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What is my threat? Threat, I suppose, is just to take on e6. So let's say he plays... Wow, it's, even, it's kind of hard for him to even find a move here. He can't move his knight. Let's say he plays... I mean, bishop c8 is going to lose pretty quickly, too. Like, take... 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 Check. Yeah, and he can't take with his knight, so he got to take here, and... This is lights out as soon as I get into g7. Remove the defender. Bishop h3 would have been nice. f6. Okay, and now queen d3. It's better now because, yeah, if this, then I can take with check. Aha. Uh -huh. Removing a defender with check. So this is the game position, but with f6 inserted. And that makes a huge difference. And then I can come here, because I outnumber him, attackers to defenders. Instructive. Yeah, bishop h3. I should have 
I should have seen that move. That's so thematic, too. Like, my light square bishop's the only piece that's not participating in the attack. That would have just been a, a beautiful way to cap things off. Another threat I have is just to take, and let's say he takes with the pawn, so his queen guards g7, then I could play bishop g5, and he's skewered and rapidly losing. That would have been nice. Fortunately, I didn't blow it too bad. Still winning here. Queen comes into f6. Yeah, and the rook coming to e1 seals the fate. This position here, and then take. <laughs> now, I accidentally pre-moved rook takes f6. Not accidentally, I did it on purpose. But um, he disconnected, but I realized that Check actually me. I can just do that. I don't even need to bother recapturing the queen. All right, that was a fun English game. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. And please leave me any feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.